A similar incident happened to Mike Ballesta at a Best Buy once, with more dire consequences. I was in jail. <laughs> Mike owns Capital City Student Tours, which takes class trips to historic cities on the East Coast. And when the students get money for their lunch, I always give them two dollar bills. The excess Mike often has came in handy when personnel from Best Buy went back on an agreement not to charge him for installing his son's car stereo. We got a call threatening us with the police if we didn't come in and pay the bill. So I thought a little bit, and I thought, OK, it's a little over $100. I think I'll pay in twos. So I went to Best Buy, paid with the $2 bills. And the girl marked them all with a pen and went and talked to her manager. And the manager came over and said, these aren't real. We've called the police. And I said, please, you're making a big mistake here. Young policeman walked in, handcuffed me behind my back and took me up. It turned out they called the Secret Service. The Secret Service said they're real. So, uh, they told me I could go. It was embarrassing. You know, if you're an American citizen and don't know we have $2 bills in our currency, you shouldn't be a cashier, because look what can happen. <laughs>